Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll share with you some great tools that you can use to help quickly organize your Gmail inbox for 2022. Let's dive straight into it. Organizing your inbox can feel a bit of an overwhelming task at first. In this guide, I'll share two great tools you can use to help you clear up your existing inbox. This will help to reduce the amount of emails and general clutter in your inbox. I won't spend any time in this guide explaining how to install Chrome extensions for Gmail, but do check out the Woggle guide shown above if you want to find out how to do that. Let's take a look at our first Chrome extension. It's got the snappy name of unsubscribe Gmail emails in bulk from Help Ninja. You can find the link for this in the description below. Unlike some bulk unsubscribe tools you can use with Gmail, the Help Ninja extension is free to use, but other paid for unsubscribe services are available. As its name suggests, this extension for Gmail does only one job, but it does it well. It takes away a lot of the headaches involved in unsubscribing from email lists that clog up your inbox, removing emails that you never read anyway. This is an important first step in organizing your inbox, as it cuts down on the number of emails coming into Gmail so means that you have less to manage. Let's dive into Gmail and see it in action. I've already installed the extension to the Chrome browser. In the Gmail inbox, you'll see a new button has appeared called Unsubscribe. If I click the button, I get an error message saying that I first need to select the emails I want to unsubscribe. And remember, we're going to be doing this in bulk, which means we'll make a request to unsubscribe from lots of emails at once. Let's see how that works. I'll close this error message by clicking on the X in the top right corner. And then looking at my inbox, I'm now going to select the mailing lists and emails I want to unsubscribe from by clicking on the checkbox on the far left of each email row. This unsubscribe process works best on regular newsletters or emails you might receive from companies. I'll now click on the large unsubscribe button once more. The Help Ninja extension then confirms the email address lists that you'll be unsubscribed from. And since this is the first time we've used it, we're asked to sign in using our Google account. Let's quickly do that by clicking on the large blue sign in and unsubscribe button. Your email ID then pops up, and if that's the correct one, click on the blue next button to proceed. You'll then need to enter your password for the Google account. This ensures you log in securely and your information remains safe. Let's quickly enter that now, and I'll press the next button again to confirm that. Google then tells you what information the Help Ninja extension will have access to on Gmail. Confirm that by clicking on the checkboxes and clicking on the Agree button at the bottom of the page. And returning to our inbox, you'll see that the Help Ninja extension confirms how many emails have now been removed. For a faster way to clean up your old emails, let's take a look at another tool which actually suggests the emails you should delete from your inbox. This is a service called Clean Email. I'll open my browser on the sign up page for Clean Email. The link for this page is also shown in the description below. Clean Email is a paid for service, but the good news for us is that there's a free trial that you can use to clean up to a thousand emails in your Gmail inbox without paying a penny. The other big bonus of the Clean Email service is that it gives you a lot of information on who is sending you emails and clogging up your inbox. Once you understand this, you can then use the Woggle guide shown in the top right of this guide to delete as many emails as you want to before a certain date, or even set up rules to automatically delete emails from a sender when you receive them to send them straight to your trash bin. I'll click on the Get Started for Free button, which takes me to the login page where I need to connect my Gmail account with a clean email service. You'll see that clean email can also be used with other email accounts like Outlook or Yahoo. I'll click on the Sign In with Gmail button. We're then prompted to log in. Click on your username to log on to the Clean Email service and connect your Gmail account to it. As this is the first time we're using the Clean Email service, the emails in your account are analysed so they can be categorised and sorted. Depending on how many emails you have in your inbox, this may take a little while. Once that's completed, however, the Gmail email app then confirms that it's ready to get started. Let's click on the Start Cleaning button to proceed. We're then taken to the start page for the clean email service. To remove old emails and tidy up your inbox, I'm going to focus on the quick clean option shown on this page. If I click on that link, we're then taken to a very helpful clean up page. You'll see that this breaks into categories the emails that the clean email service thinks can be quickly deleted. 
The most useful ones for us are those that have never been opened and are still unread, those that are social notifications from sites like Twitter and Facebook, and lastly, those emails which are drafts, that is, emails that have never been sent from your inbox. The categories are shown left to right in terms of the number of emails in each category, so always start on the left to clean up the most emails. Let's take a quick look at an example of what this service can do. I'm going to take a look at the emails that are currently unread. The large blue button gives us the option to mark the emails as read. However, I'd like to take a more detailed look at them, as I want to delete the emails. I'm going to click on the blue view all button to see more information about the emails that the clean email service has identified. This takes us to a page where all of the emails are sorted into groups by sender. So each line contains all of the emails sent by one individual or company. Let me show you how quick and easy it is to delete these emails. If I look at the top row, which has the highest number of emails from one sender, you'll see that it's already selected and highlighted in blue. I am confident I can delete all these emails as they are unread. The service confirms that a number of emails have been selected in this row. To move them to the trash bin, all I need to do is click on the trash icon on the top bar. We are then asked if we want to delete all of the selected emails or whether we want to delete the emails and set up a rule that will then allow us to delete any future emails from this sender. Now remember, Clean Email is a paid for service. So if you choose the second option, you'll have to pay a subscription when your seven day trial ends. If you're like me, however, and you like things to stay free forever, then check out the Woggle Guide in the top right, which allows you to do exactly the same thing and explains how you can set up a rule in Gmail to automatically delete emails from any sender when you receive them. So I'm going to keep the first option selected to just send these emails to trash. Click on the large red trash button to confirm that. The Clean Email app then bulk deletes all of those emails with one click. You can continue to work through the categories that the Clean Email app has identified and delete emails you don't want in this way, but remember that the trial has a limit of 1000 emails. I hope you find this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe so that other users can find it too. Thanks so much for watching.